Good evening, Draftaholics, and welcome to Draft Punks, the most outlawed draft channel on the internet. My name is Sam, and I'm joined for the very first Outlaws at Thunder Junction draft, as always, by Adrian Walker. How are we doing, Adrian? Yeah! Oh, my no, name is do Cowboy do Jenkins. Uh-uh, you're not welcome here. There's enough of that going around. Just talk like a normal person. I'm the... This is Cowboy Jenkins here. Yeah, I'm the I'm the fastest gun in the West. And, uh... Yeah, we're, we're in the East. And I'm being place. thrown out the window! <laughs> Goddamn Cowboy Jenkins. Think, <laughs> thinking bloody, he can take over the start of the video. What the hell? Bloody Cowboys. Hey, check this out. Th well, that's fun. <laughs> is it good? I... I've heard scuttle that it is. Interesting. Because I remember from Strixhaven that it was... It was medium. No, it was a bomb in Strixhaven. It was a bomb in Strixhaven? God, well, okay. Because Strixhaven was the big mana set, right? Oh, like you could easily, true. You could easily get to X equals two. Yeah, I um, mean... I, you look... Hey. We could we could get crack we could get crack a lacking. Um, otherwise, I mean, what else is there? I don't care about this. Seems good. Oh, actually, uh, no, it doesn't seem that good. Um, I like this. I you like, like this. this? I'm meh on it so yeah. far. Bastion of Remembrance. Yeah, and I like this, but only for outlaws. And of the commons, I like this. Uh, I, don't know, I like a few of those, but I don't know. Let's let's do something big. I haven't drafted much red yet, actually. I haven't drafted any red. I have drafted, red? drafted once, and it was green-white, and it went pretty good. It went pretty good. Um, all right, what have we got here? I don't think we like much of the red. Margabane Lizard is not that good. Oh, it's like a and Storm then... Guy. Yeah, Savage Smash is fine. Oh, it's like an anti-Storm Guy. It takes It deals damage to you. This is good. I really like Skullduggery, though. I'm inclined to take Skullduggery. You know what? If, if we're going to go big mana with Crackle, I kind of want to take the Bandit. We could take Hard Bristle Bandit. Yeah, if you want to go, like, big mana. I've liked green as well so far, so... Yeah, I kind of like the Bandit. Okay. Yeah, all right. I can get behind that. Because, um... um... And if we can find a zero mana way to commit a crime... Is there a zero mana way to commit a crime? Well, if there's, like, creatures that tap to, to do something. Oh, sure. Ooh, hello. I like this. This thing is insane. Okay, yeah, that does look good. That does actually look silly. <laughs> it looks a bit silly. Like, this is good on rate, and then you just stick one counter on it, and you just go to town. Yeah, or just have some- have another creature. Play a- play a 4-4 four four on turn 4. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. This has been, this has been really good for me so far. So, again, I like Savage Smash. Savage kind of Smash. Savage. Yeah. Uh, this is fine. I like this. Maybe you commit a crimes of L2, triggers once a turn. Wow, five mana of Flying Vigilance Ward 2? What the hell? Yeah, this seems like it's going to be mega annoying on the other side. Have you encountered the four mana 5-3 with Flash yet? No, not That's yet. annoying. That's uh that's an annoying one. I'm gonna tell you Ooh. Okay. Every time I see a black a black green spell, I get kind of excited. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I don't think this one's very good though. I've been playing a lot of back for more today though. <laughs> oh, I'm we are absolutely playing back for more this set. And without oh, yeah. a without a doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that thing's nuts. Uh but yeah, I don't think this one's amazing. What's the red uh, card do? Mystical Tethers, Guz, and O-Ring that can have Flash if you pay two more for it. And then we're probably just taking this. X. Oh, so it's like a shock. Shock or better. Yeah. Okay. I've had but some debates with, with some other good drafter friends about this. Some think it's not that good, but I'm, I'm a little higher. We'll, we'll see. Okay. We'll okay. See. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh wow! Let's go. Oh yeah, this thing's this thing seems good. Like yeah, just you know, two classic, two rectangles two, two, one, one. seems nice, uh, especially yep. when both of the rectangles can block or attack. Yep, yep. Uh, That's two rectangles opponent. as well. 
It is, yeah. My finals opponent, my finals opponent on Monday had four of these. Whoa. So it was it was his what is deck the... full of mine raiders versus my deck full of uh holy cows. What is the 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 Corsador saddled exa? Ah, it's got four power. It does I kind of like, like it. it. Yeah, it seems okay. Ooh, I'll take okay. a look. Patient, take... patient naturalist. Make sure we hit those land drops. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe taking the land here. I could see that, yeah. Otherwise, black Blue's... seems quite open, so I don't know if you want to move into black. So does blue. There's been a lot of good blue flowing around. Because um, we haven't seen a lot a of green. Here, which I think is good. That's true, yeah. Oh, it's an entomb. That's the fun. Animates. Oh, two creature cards. Do you want to take this or just like stay red? Oh, oh, this card All seems right, let's, crazy. Let's let's spec. Let's see what we can find. Oh, there's oh, a giant wow, beaver. Man. Can you stop talking about your giant beaver? I had um, to stop Sam so much when we were making the pre-release <laughs> guide. <laughs> Because all he did was laugh about that joke that he made. And it was his favorite joke the whole time. That's all he did. You should have been with me at the first pre-release. Terrible. Every time I cast it, I had a new joke. Okay, can I hit you up with prickly pear want- or hypothesis? Well, yes. Which one do you like? Um, I like hypothesis. It's pretty good, but okay. I also don't when I, mind. When I, when I ask you that pear. question... When I ask you that question, you need to respond before the timer runs out. I don't have to. Just, just heads up. Uh, okay, I like this one. I also don't mind just, like, staying in red and then whatever bomb we open in pack two. Ah, can, that's like, a fair that point. Um, I also don't uh, mind taking the some, land again. There are some mega bombs in this set. The land is a decent option. Yeah, this could be a pick of the week where everyone will say take the land, but I do like this thing. Interesting. Um. Yeah, I like. I feel. I feel like I liked the land there. Ooh, wow! Wheeling two vault plunderers. When it ETBs, uh, but... target player draws a card and loses one life. Okay, that's yeah. That's. I think it's a that's little good. dubious on a three one, but it's it's still like it still replaces itself. It's still pretty good. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna grab the rakish crew because if we end up black red. We're going to be Outlaw Central. I mean, that's true. And I guess that's where that card... Wow. We are very black red. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay. So, I like the Dead Eye Duelist. I like the Blood Hustler. I don't. I think you so. don't like it? Nah. Why not? So, it, it, it doesn't... It's, it's terrible on its own. Terrible. Sure. If you commit one, if you commit one crime, it gets to two mana, two, two. And yeah. then if you commit another crime, it's like it's gone. a two mana three three, and then it only gets bigger as you commit more crimes. With what do you think about the? De- what does the desecrator do? I hate the silver deputy. Do not pick it. We want to hit land drops. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> well, thing, I guess we get, get both. I am in, like this is classic. Um, Interesting. Um, Ooh, cool. This is probably classic Adrian. Like, I have an opinion. It just turns out to be demonstrably wrong. Um, I think Silver Deputy is bad and and terrible, and I hate it. I hate it on principle. I think it sucks balls. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see. All right. What do we got? I like Desert's Dew. No bombs Um, for us. Desert's Dew's Okay. Thunder Salvo is okay. I guess if we want to lean aggressive, there's a like Roadrunner. But I don't. Okay. Interesting. This, this sucks. It doesn't suck that bad. I feel I feel like Desert Dew is like good. It's like removal that scales with I'd deserts take, in your deck. I take I take Salvo over it. You would. We don't have any deserts at the moment. It'll be easier to double yeah, than have. Not with that attitude, we don't. Do I just take this, or do I take Outlaw Stitcher, which is just really good? Make a 2-2. Oh. 
That is really good. Oh, every time I see simulacrum sim- uh, synthesizer, I'm like, how do I do it? How do I do it? This is <laughs> yeah. not, there's just not many good artifacts in this set. There's going to be so much like week seven jank that we can do in this. Oh, set. I'm I'm very excited for it. What that's, does this guy uh, do? Commit a crime, put a counter on him. Um, well, that's sick. It's just blood hustler, but better. Yeah, way better blood hustler. I'm I'm in for this one. I think. Yeah, me too. What does yeah, what does binding negotiation do? Binding negotiation three across uh, from from Vadmir. Oh, that's a Thorsey's. Reveal, discard it. Otherwise, they may put a face up. Oh, hilarious. Oh, you get to de-plot yeah. a card. That's hilarious. Which is actually kind of relevant, right? Because they've already spent yeah, money on it. Yeah, they totally that. have already spent money on it. Um, ooh, second lively dirge? It's kind of interesting. I I feel like I'd like another Skullduggery more than I like this. That double reanimate seems crazy, though. Like, d- put two prickly pears back in the back on the battlefield. That seems no, no, whack. no, 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 no. Read. Return up to two creature cards from with mana of to oh, total. F- <laughs> Thanks. We've got to do a quick turnaround on this one, Adrian. That's <laughs> no, all right. We're we're past the the thirty second point. Nobody cares anymore. Uh, Le- right, least of all the YouTube um, algorithm. Stop it. We are a family friendly YouTube channel. Um. Well, there's another skulldog. Oh, wow. Is Campbell good? What's Campbell doing? Wow. Um. Oh, this is the guy that makes the one ones. When they make tokens, you make tokens. Oh no, that's right. Okay, that's the other black white one. Is. Yeah. Yeah. Seems specific. Could just be a three mana, two four. Yeah. I guess we do yeah. make tokens. Well, yeah, yeah, but I, I don't know. I don't think I want to splash for that. I'm down for another rakish crew, though. You reckon? There's another Skullduggery. I like this thing a lot as well. Two mana, two, two with lifelink. Is the, oh, that was murder? Oh. Probably should uh, take the murder. Nah. No. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's, so let's get this out of here. How are we looking? What are we doing? Um, what does the contractor do? I don't know. These cards are all tiny, Sam, and I don't know what any of them do. Sack a creature, tucker player draws two cards. Oh, that seems kind of tight, especially with all your random 1-1 one, one dudes hanging around. Yeah, I think you've got to build around it a bit, but I think we're the kind of deck for it. And if we can pick up the, uh, there's like a 1-mana one 1-1 mana one one that replaces itself when it dies. Um, so we're, we're probably the deck for it. Um, Treasure this, yeah. Dredger. All right, so let's, what do we got? Whoa. Nursenaries, we have three. Three. Rogues, we've got one we artifact th- nursery. Three. And a warlock. We've got seven. Oh, no, and an assassin. We've got eight. Oh, is every single creature a an outlaw? It seems like it. Except this one. Oh, yeah, vampires aren't... Uh, oh, he's a rogue. 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 Nursery. Whoa. Ooh, okay. Oh, can I hit you with a spicer? You're gonna, a- you're gonna, you're gonna say another round. No, no, no. I want this. What's that? Here's the battlefield. Oh, the the bounce land. Yeah. I'm completely unconvinced by it, but um, because for for those that haven't played with bounce lands before, these are card advantage. Because if you've got a hand with a regular land and a bounce land, you've got three mana sources in your hand. And this is the guy I was talking about. Oh, it dies into a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Um, so, like, they're just straight up card advantage. And I've already found a few cute tricks that you can do with this one in this set. Like, you pick up your deserts and get another crime trigger off them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's neat. Um, does that mean um, we should take a desert or a roadrunner? Don't mind the roadrunner. Also, don't mind the desert. A roadrunner. Yeah. It's I don't know if that... we're likely to splash in a deck like this, so... Well, you never yeah, know. We've got, we've got a few, like, two-mana limited removal spells already, so... What does Trickshot do? 
Trick shot. Six. Six to something and two to a token. Man, it's not, it's not yeah. terrible. We might run it just because we don't have a, a big removal spell yet. Oh, this is, this Wolverine is irascible. It is, and I think I'm going to take it. Yeah, the dirge isn't as cool as I thought it would be. I thought, like, we were going to get eight mana worth of stuff. That would be incredible. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. See, you're acting people... <laughs> so excited, but I don't have any emotions for any of these cards yet, so I really can't meet you at that energy. Have you, um, have you forgotten Skullduggery? No. No? No. You haven't forgotten it? What do you oh. mean? Okay. Well, that's like, you know, one of the best cards of all time, if not maybe the best card of all time. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't think we can play it, though. No, we are very, we are very black red. Jeez. Ugh. I mean, you can just, just pick it just to say that yeah. we did. I've, uh, I've already played against this twice. And it's... It's, it's a good one. <laughs> Um, could take Coyote, because this is very gnarly. Seems good. Seems good. Oh, yeah. it has plot as well, and that's pretty, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Double down. What does that do? Oh! Oh, it seems good. Um, there it is, Adrian. Oh, I'm, I'm so keen. I'm so yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. It's so sick. Uh, I think we're taking a Hollow Marauder, though. One for creatures in the bin, then when it ETBs discard a card if you if you if you didn't discard a card with Oh, that's pretty sweet. And it has flying. Yeah. This is like the um the writhing necromass from DMU, but it's card advantage. Yeah, right. No, I like it. I like it and it has flying. Um, that's sick. Consuming ashes, I think we would like. Oh, is that a reprint? No. Oh my god, it's actual Thoughtseize. Hello. Literal Thoughtseize. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I guess it's a prickly pair for us. Unless we want like a bit of top end with this, but this seems kind of medium. Cast your second spell each turn. Does two damage to target opponent. Meh. It's not terrible, but it's also not amazing. Prickly pair seems fine. Seems great. Pair seems seems good with the, the double. Oh yeah, just plan. go super duper wide. Yep. Okay, that's not yeah. bad. So I guess we've got like an aggressive plan and then we can drop some rakish crews and then they're very close to dead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh we should okay. is there are there wraths in this format? Can we draft a wrath and then kill them with the wrath? <laughs> Pillage the bog, isn't that what you do every time you go to the bathroom? <laughs> How did you beat me to that joke? Because <laughs> I know you too well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, this is a demonic tutor, but anyway, uh, I think we're. Ooh, this is interesting, actually. I think I'm like contractor for what we're doing. Yeah, we, got, we, we like... are farting out a lot of little m mercenary yeah. guys. I have really liked this, though. Seven of the Sting, a combat damage is uh, a sacrifice if you do. Oh, I mean, as the one three death touch is all right. That's it, right? That's it. Fling! Fling. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think yes. I'm in for some ruckus, though. Menace, trample, graveyard, draw a card, and plot for a single red. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. I reckon this will say constructed play. Wow. Yeah, like, menace and trample is real, and plot for single red is sweet. Yeah, plot it on turn one. Play a creature, yeah. No, it's like yeah. Plot, plot this away on turn one. Turn two, plot away. Slick shot, show off, and then turn three, just like storm, kill them. Oh yeah! Holy cow! Holy cow! Uh, uh oh yeah, this thing. Well, we have a surprisingly large amount of like card advantage for a black red deck. This is something I've noticed about this set: is there just everything is card advantage. Hey, Desert uh, Stew, it's back. Um, all right. I guess we can run this anyway. I don't, I don't, I'm not even sure we will run this. Do we want this instead? Creatures, you... Oh, it's a Trumpet Blast. Um, that replaces it. Replaces it. Jeez, wow, you weren't lying. 
Yeah, maybe. We we are making a lot of random dudes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is going to be a tricky one. Oh. Okay, there's our that removal spell. Oh, that's great. Wow, this is a fantastic card. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> baby chupacabra. I was just going to say, casually just uh, kill thing, make dude. Oh, nice. Yeah. At instant yeah, yeah, speed, yeah. mind you. Yeah. So, I'm in for that. I would like this duelist, but... Okay. Take, take for have you ever been taken for a ride by Magic the Gathering? I'm so ready to get blown out by this at some point. Oh yeah, okay, nice. Yep. Okay. Flash. They stopped they stopped printing instant speed threaten effects for a reason. <laughs> and and what is that reason for the, the, the listener? Because they may not know. Uh, opponent attacks with multiple creatures, you nab one of them mid combat. Where is it? Don't get up on screen. Um, you nab one of them mid-combat, untap it, and then trade off with two of their creatures. It's a two-for-one. Yeah. It's, it takes a bit of setup. I haven't actually seen it happen yet. But. Okay, we get this thing anyway. I don't know if we'll run it. Oh, yes. More... I love this thing. I, it's, it's the leech. It's the, it's the leech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The leech is back. From Ikoria, yeah. Um, I remember really liking the leech. Me too. Yeah, I made a bit of a hot take and and put that in my my top four my top four commons for black. Wow, uh, like a phenomenal target for back for more. By the way, just like so good. Uh, kind of like it'll probably just trade with whatever it fights. I mean, yes, and it'll kill a thing. Or like, yeah, true, true. Yeah, you bring it back, shrink something with two power, fight it. It's pretty um, good. Cool. Our, our entire deck is playables. Just, Holy moly. Just click okay. done. Just click done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Silver um, Deputy, get out. Get in the comments and tell, tell me what you think, dear viewer, about Silver Deputy, because I'm over putting lands on the top of my deck. Because those, those cards have been good basically every time we've seen them. Well, they've been fine they've been like fixing when the fixing is bad but the fixing doesn't seem bad in this it seems all right that is that is a really good point that is a very good point so i'm of i'm kind of of a mind to just like chop all of the top end like this is this is a four drop this doesn't count okay okay like i was it, gonna say like I, even the marauder like if i just drop as much as i like the the gigapede if i just like drop these yeah then We've got, like, quite a this. few cuts to make, remember? We do, we do, yeah. So let's let's just have a look at anything that's kind of medium. And this is, I guess, a five drop. You've got to be careful with these spree cards when you're looking at your curve. That's, yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't want that. It's probably good. This is also a bigger drop. Um, how good are we on scale? We've got a lot of mercenaries that we're creating, so that's... Probably good enough. We've also got skull dug skull duggerization. Oh yeah, true. Like, do do you remember playing with this? This thing's insane. When when was it legal? Uh, one of the core sets, M twenty one maybe. Oh okay. Um, it's not hard for this to be a one mana two for one. Oh, like in combat, kill an X one, or like. Remove yep, a next crucial one point of guy. power from an attacker. Yep. Add a crucial yep. point of power to your blocker, and then kill two of their yep. creatures. Yeah, okay, I can see that. I can see that. That's yep. yep. one mana. One mana. Yeah, I know. Um, right, school, school duggery. Yeah, when was it last printed? Oh, Exelon. I wasn't. I was not playing during Exelon. Is that when it was last printed? Yep. Really? I yep. It was in one of the core sets. Um, vanilla flavored Ixalan. Are we cutting crackle? I think we might be. It's very expensive. I mean, like, and like we're going to be a sixteen land deck. We would have to pay five mana. Yeah. To, to deal, deal five damage to one target. Five damage to one target. Yeah. I think at, it at goes sorcery speed. Yeah. Yeah. It's very sad. Alrighty. What about the ashes? Um, um, the ashes test. Or is this where we test the ashes? 
I mean, Australia always loses the Ashes, right? So Well, we won recently, so... I was just making things up. I have absolutely no idea how we do in the Ashes. Um, that's a, what the a, hell? A, that's a joke for all the cricket fans out there. Of which there are none. I reckon we've got at least one. No, no one actually likes cricket. Well, I... Cricket is a setting at which you can go and be a yobbo and get drunk. No one actually likes the cricket. Nothing happens in the cricket. <laughs> I mean, I do like that joke, and I think that's a funny take. But I, I unfortunately know people who are, like, really genuinely interested in cricket, so it's, it's hard to... No. They're saying that because it's not socially acceptable to say, I like day drinking. <laughs> I feel like in this day and age you can say it. And you know what? I, myself, I enjoy cricket. I played cricket in high school. It was fun. Oh, playing it? Great. You get to go stand and do nothing all day and claim it's sport. I can understand why that's- You get to catch a ball every so often. You get to- Every so often, maybe. But watching it? No one likes watching it. And Okay. Well- Um, I don't think we're quite aggressive enough to run this. It- Yeah, it just seems a bit- It seems a bit cute. Um, but I li- I do like it because it is a threaten effect in what is a aggressive deck, and that's great. It is, yeah. So I'm just going to leave it here. I could see cutting the ashes. They've no power crept act of treason yet again. Uh, yeah. I mean, what they've done is they've bumped it to uncommon and then made them a little more powerful. Oh, which after I like. We had oh we uh, had steel and sack dot dot uh, dot format. Yeah, we had, like, multiple formats where this was common and just outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> we It was a format where we had a free sack outlet at common and a threaten at common. And that that was the format. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, good times were had on- by all in ad- adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Tell you what, I've, I've forgotten those realms. Do I trim a Thunder Salvo? What do we got? Let's go through the creatures. We got Link Breakers. We've got this guy is a two-two. Wow, two-two with Life Link. Wow, Child yeah. of Night. Never, never again. Yeah, yeah. Um, Vadmir. Uh, do you reckon it, want- it, this guy's name was Vladimir? But then, oh yeah, went through immigration one day and they got his name wrong, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, fine. <laughs> it's Vadmir. <laughs> I can't be bothered exactly. correcting you. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> um, oh, we got the Coyote and the Roadrunner. Sweet. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. They should be together in the, the card pile, by the way. You need to change that. Can you actually change that? Do I just cut the discerning peddler to put them together? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not adverse to that, actually. Um... It, like is, is that just an enormous right wolverine? Is that thing on top of like a caravan? Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> That's kind of terrifying. It's pretty, or it's a very, or it's a very small. Oh, uh, it's wagon. a tiny wagon and with tiny yeah, boxes yeah. and tiny people yeah. and tiny cacti. I get it. Yeah, um, we might just cut the mine raider. With everything else is card advantage, whereas this is like just to make a treasure. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, uh. Phew. Well, we've got two cuts already in the cut the cut bin. Um, yeah, so if I, if I cut these two... Like, Vadmir does want us to keep having criminal activity, but I, I just kind of want to keep our creature count nice and high. I agree. Um, maybe it's That's the Dirge. Right. Is it the Dirge? Do we lose the Dirge? What is it going to do? It's like we can we can it go can... search for a two-drop and then bring back a two-drop, or we can bring back any three-drop. Or, like, three drop plus Link Breaker. It could be Dirge. Because I was really high on this card until I read it. I mean, I am still really high. Which is a hilarious statement. (laughs) It's just like. Yeah. (laughs) It's normally me that doesn't read the cards. Yeah, okay. I could could see this getting out of here. It's not really on plan for us, is it? And that's 41, and that's a deck, baby. It is also just four mana, bring back two of these to the battlefield. No, see now we're back, Sam. Now we're we're back. 
<laughs> we're back. What if you cut a Thunder Salvo and then that's the deck? Okay, yeah, I'm in for that. Um, 16 lands, 41 cards. Let's let's do it. Let's uh, once again. Right, let's go. We start a format with red black. Oh uh, yeah. Are we? Well, this is my first time. Are we time three for three formats all, so. uh, where we start with red black? Did we start with red black in um, uh, what do you call it? Um, MKM. Yeah. I don't remember. Go check. Okay, I'm gonna go check. Um, surely not in LCI. Oh yeah, remember it was um it was the the fifty million uh dudes. You know the dudes. Um the Tomb Raiders. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah. Yeah, that Ooh. was um Ooh, I'm into this. That was red black. Then um our first... Oh, no, I think we just played random face-downs. We played, like, three color face-downs. No, we played five color face-downs. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we've done five color in our first draft quite a lot. Very... This is very draft punks. Crab! Oh, mute. God, I hate this thing. Crab? Crab. Yeah, this is... This is cool. Oh! This is cool. That's nice! Like... A two drop that shores up the ground and allows you to just like pass the turn every turn. Yep. Mill uh, mill them. Mill us. No, self mill is a downside mechanic. Um, I'm over your silliness. Get a get a get a better joke. It's not a joke, it's a real opinion. But um what do you what do you think of the hound? Is it three mana three two out of ten? No, I like well, no, I like this in black green. Oh, wow. Black green. Oh, to put stuff in the bin. Well, they put Smuggler's Surprise in the bin. I guess it's not a huge deal in limited. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's probably Prickly Pear. Prickly Pear swing Prickly Pear or Prickly Pear pass? I think I'll attack and then Prickly Pear. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not, it's NB. Trade twos for threes. Sounds good. And we gain gain a bit of life in the process. <laughs> We're already winning, a, Sam. Now we've got a thing we can sack to our uh, our contractor. We are already winning. Ooh, what was that? I like this card a lot. When it enters the battle, you get ah yeah. This is uh got honey mammoth vibes, but yeah. it's also it only costs four to plot. Seems yeah. quite strong. Yeah, I completely overlooked it just because it cost five. I'm so used to these effects costing six. Um, okay, so I think let's go... Contractor Suspend Ruckus. Contractor Suspend Ruckus. Why don't we go to... Why don't we go to combat first? I will, I will. Well, well, no, well hang on, attack no. with both so we at least get one damage in. Yeah. And then sack it. There we go. That's magic. Uh, Whoa, it makes a crazy noise. Everything makes crazy noises. Well. Uh, me. I draw cards. We drew... drew wow, look Ooh. at that. We're going... Jeez. We're going crazy, oh, wow. Sam. Um... Wow. The, uh, the effect on committing a crime is really annoying because it goes on the stack and it covers up the whole stack. Uh, okay, as in when something triggers from committing a crime? Tumbleweed Ooh. rising! That's not bad. Luckily we've got Skullduggery right, okay. and Demonic Ruckus. Yeah, so to, I could... So we can three for one ourselves. <laughs> yeah, so I could... Like, I could ruckus the contract that makes it a 4-3 menace trample. And then... Rakish crew and skullduggery. So they'll have to, have to double block it. So we can trade... 
Yeah, these three for one of their things, plus we draw a card off Ruckus. That's probably not our best option. Yeah, it's kind of what I so, thought. Yeah. Okay, let's just play Rakish Crew. Do we just start we going wide? Play. Just start going wide so, and, yeah. like, commit to, like, trading off our board. And we'll just, like, we'll wait for them to get a little bit aggressive and then we might be able to get a big attack in. Oh, yeah. Bounce lands. Because, like, we're playing modern over here. Oh, I know. Okay, so... 16 lands and we're... 16 lands, 41 cards, and we're flooded. Where is the justice? Tell there me. is no justice. There is no justice, Sam. This is this is the Wild West out here. Exactly. The only justice is the... Wow, they're getting, getting in there. Ooh. The only justice is the justice uh, we, we make. Um... Oh, there's a bit of a blowout opportunity. Is there? Well, it's like a one for nothing opportunity if we like put the contractor and prickly pear in front of the paladin and they order the prickly pear, we can we can put um we can make it a four three that only gets one of our guys. Oh no, I guess we're still two for one ourselves that way. Well No, 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 you're right. You're right. Oh, okay. But I I could also just put the contractor on and do that. Oh, yeah. That's true. And I think I might as well do that rather than take ten. Ten's a lot. Ten's... Ten's uh, more than... more than I would like to take. Oh, you've cast this spell on Arena before, Sam. <laughs> yeah. You expertly navigated the... Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. That's not cool. Well, we took... We took eight. Oh, we went back up one. It's like I mean, we only took nine. Sorry, it was like we only took seven. Plots uh Oh, come on. A thing. A big thing, in fact. Oh, that's really... So that's a, that's really big and scary. <laughs> that's a 7-7 seven, seven They're just going to play a 7-7 seven, seven with Flying and Trample next turn. For free. I mean, they've already paid for it. They've got it on yeah. lay-by. Okay, so let's... I think we just run out the hand. I don't think there's much else we can do. And then next turn I rock us up the summoner. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, smart. Is it another creature, or can you, um... No, no, itself. That's why these cards are so nuts. If you control a creature. Yeah, nice. It's the same thing with the, with the Bristleback. Sentry. The drowsing Tyranodon, if you will. Yes, you yeah, put, yeah, yeah, you just yeah. Put a thing on it and then go to town. Yes. No, I've played with the Bristleback Sentry. Um great. Card's great. I love that card. That card goes very well. Um I put some boots on it. Wow. Yep. All big. Right. That's a big we're gonna need one of those uh kill anything removal spells. Which we could draw. Now, I could chuck everything in front of the Paladin. But I think I'll wait till I've got a 3-1. Well, this puts us to... Bounce. Oh. Oh. I'm glad they did that before we blocked. God damn. Yeah. Um, well, we're dead in the air. Well, we're, de we're just dead next turn. So we got to draw pretty... Oh, no, we're not. I forgot about that. Well, oh, let's go. <laughs> well, we should pop it off now before they draw a, a fun little protection spell. Yep. Oh, and we can do this full modes. Everything, everything. Pay this. Kill you. Uh, get a destroy guy. Destroy this. Auto pay. Nice. Okay. And then we rock us up this boy. Four four menace trample. Get a three three. Unfortunately, not an outlaw, but 
for but, but not bad. Why can't we okay, like so... give give the dinosaur like a goatee and a and a and a sort of sinister looking hat? What Fuck. the hell are we doing? <laughs> oh. Yikes! Are we just dead? So I don't think we're just dead, but we basically have to trade off our whole board to to like just stay in it a little bit. So we're taking six plus two? I don't think we're dead. Could lift another removal spell. No, we're, we're dead. We're dead. Oh, because of the trample. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. a fair point. Yeah. Right, okay. Ha! Huh. Life gain! Oh. Well, welcome to, to Thunder Junction, I guess. So, I'm going to get this out of the way now. People, in the first couple of days of a format, people always go on about how bomby the new set is. And this one's no different. Everyone's going on about how bomby the new set is. It'll get better with time. There are powerful rares in this set. We just ran into two of them. Um, but it, it will chill out. As the decks get more efficient and refined, the impact of those bombs goes down a bit. Okay. Sounds like you're you're just under the thumb of Big Bomb. <laughs> Sounds like you're paid off by Big Bomb. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah li little boy has got. Yeah, me don't worry pocket. about those bombs, guys. Just uh, hey, don't worry about it. Don't you worry. Um, wow, we're now, gonna curve out on them. Let me guess. Even though we have a Hollow Marauder in hand, you would like me to point the mill on this Bloodseeker at our opponent, right? No, no, no I will make an exception this time. Oh, but but not not last game when no 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 and not when we couldn't we, we still had this in the deck yeah it was in the deck who knows where we could have milled it like why would we want want that right okay. well get one drop two drop it's like it's like LCI oh. up in here get these uh get these non mountains out of here true neither of those were mountains there's there's rackish mm. crew. I can't get over how, um, like, uh, just a little dude Oko looks like in this, in this picture. Like, if you look at him, he looks so short. He looks so short and stumpy. Everyone looks short and stumpy in this drawing. I know what it is. I'm, I'm here for the short kings. I mean, me too, but... I think oh, wow. Okay. I want to be doing what our opponent's doing. They, they're committing crimes. I love this card so much. Hey. Alrighty, so let's do this. Oh, draw two cards? Yep. Draw two discard the hand size? No. I love this. I love this card. This card it's rules. Good so far, hasn't it? Me, I draw cards. And the, why not another? <laughs> That's okay, sick. Okay. Yes, yeah. I like that a lot. I like this a, lo a lot. Can we draw a demonic ruckus or a two drop? A demonic ruckus or a two drop? You say? Because I want it. I want. I'm trying to use my mana well next turn. Hey, they're doing. Oh. Hey, they're they're cribbing our style. That's that's our job. Oh, they could have targeted us to commit a crime, but they didn't. That's called cowardice. It is. So, what's the plan here? I could get out the summoner to start getting the token train going. And then next turn I can... Oh, I've got the one drop in the bin. That's great. And then next turn I can... Like rakish crew plus peddler. Do you know what I reckon? I reckon you go to the combat step. Yeah, yeah. I'll just attack with Bloodseeker. Unless, well, yeah. Unless I think I'm going to play rakish crew this turn. I reckon like that, you attack yeah. with both Bloodseeker and Contractor. Well, I want to trade the Contractor off once I've got this in play. Okay. I mean, sure, this is a fair point, but I'm. I reckon you could. Well, maybe you play Rakish Crew now, right? Yeah. Swing, and then... I don't know. It's just kind of low impact. This is a huge amount of power from next turn. I mean, 
True. Okay. Yeah, that's actually... Yeah, no, fair point. Away it goes. Well, we're getting lots of life. And we can even s slam it back on the board with the dirge. It's pretty yeah. neat. Yeah. Yeah. Mourner's surprise. Them, along with the link breaker. Is the mourner's surprise, like, surprise the guy's not dead? Ooh. Did they cast nice. that for one? Yeah. Wait, they had Ooh. four outlaws? No, they had three. They cast it for two. Um, all right, the Outlaw Mirror, I guess. Well, this is pretty good if I just went into the Go Wide plan. So, all right, let's go... Uh, Rakish Crew. What about a... What? Can I interest you in Target Summoner with the Mercenary Swing? Yeah. yeah. They block with the 3-2, certainly. Yeah. And then... That won't do it. Oh, yeah, well, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it'll be a 4-3. Yeah. And then uh, we bring it back. And then we dirge it back. Yeah, okay. And the 1-1. One, one. Yeah, okay. In we go. We're also threatening tricks, so... That's it. They keep... They keep blocking with the trampler, and I don't get it. Um... Yeah, block with the vanilla free two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's let's uh, go back, Jack, and do it again. Might as well put a creature in the bin as well to make our our thingo cheaper. Oh yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I don't think I have another three drop. I prefer. Like maybe, maybe. No, there, it's but... like we're we're getting the most powerful three drop in the in the deck. Yeah. Or we could just deck uh, thin a land. <laughs> maybe a Bloodseeker? Seems like the lowest impact one we can draw. Um, I mean, it's got lifelink. Oh, yeah, actually, maybe it's maybe it's this one, actually. Yeah. I mean, haste is good. Could push some crucial amount of damage at the end, but... Summoner and Link Breaker seems pretty... Wow, what this this spell, huh? What the, what that was the hell? That's pretty good. Discerning. Peddling, peddling some discernments. That's, um, every time I ride my bike, that's how I feel. <laughs> you, but you, you pedal very carefully. Well, this is good. I like this. I make sure every, every turn of the pedals, uh, is, is the best I could possibly do. All right, cool. So now I'm going to pedal away that land. Yeah. And play Rage Screw. Ooh, can I draw a skull dagger? Ooh. Now, do I just do I just get my my three one now? Just trade off and get my three one, or do I try and wait for like a skull doggery and just mess with them? Um. 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 I, I kind of like that option. The risk is that they kill it before I get my three one. That's fair. Um. And in that case, yeah, play your rakish crew first. Is it a rogue? It is. Yeah. Yeah, cool. then I think this is a fine idea. Okay. Um, and it gets more blockers off their side of the board, so we can eventually kill without Lost Fury. Yes. Um, okay, yeah, no, that's that's the only attack, yeah? More dinosaurs. Look at that. How do you, how do you beat that? It's pretty good. Every other time I've had this, like, it's just gone uncontested. It's like, clear the blocker out, attack. Clear the blocker out, attack. Good old opposing pings. Yeah, we've got to, got to deal with freaking app nap ordering. Overzealous. Commit. Oh, okay. That seems meh. Well. It's fairly overzealous. Well, if we were not. Uh, oh. Hello. Okay. okay. So it doesn't work on the opponent's turn. 
Um, I think I'm just going to keep committing. So let's just play that contractor coyote. Yeah, like contract. What about the marauder? I could get down the marauder. Yeah, because that puts them down a car. That seems pretty good. That's true. Yeah. See what? Well, see I mean, or I could go to combat first, which might make it cheaper. Like I could play coyote. Pump up. What do I need to get to for toughness? Like or if you wanted to be clever, as balls, yeah, uh, you could contractor away the link breaker and play it for two. Oh, that's the play. Yeah, that's that's good. Nice. This is why we keep you around. Is that you? is that why I'm here? Wow, oh, we're triggering. Holy crap! Us, Me, target us. Cards. Ooh. There's our friend. And then you get to play the Marauder and then play Archway. Yeah. Well, we'll go to combat next turn. What would you like to discard? You. Oh, you don't have to target them. That's interesting. Whoa, what was that? Oh, very happy to see that go. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, cool. Then we can archway, pick up a swamp. Um, I could... Oh, and it's just a 4-2 flyer, which is kind of good here. I don't think I'm jacking anything into the contract. I was going to say, you could pop the, the, the contractor into the red zone. Um, but it's not necessary. Trade it with this. Yeah. Uh... Pulverizer. Uh, Second spell. Down. Second spell. Single have red. I think it's going to have an unfortunate accident. Uh, yeah, so do I, actually. Um, so uh, do... Oh, they've got a reach indicator now. Yeah. <laughs> no more sneaky reach. It's not All the right, best mechanic anymore. Four, five, six, seven. So I could go... Huh. Um, do you know what I reckon you do? I reckon you just yeah. unfortunate accident the pulverizer. Make four or five. Uh, how much mana do we have? Seven. For five. Yeah. Um, kill the pulverizer, make a guy, pump the marauder up three times, put him to seven, and, and ask them if they can kill us next turn. I'm going to do even better than that. You're going to do even better than that? Yeah, both modes, max value, go away, uh, auto pay. Wow, thank you, auto tapper. That was very good. Uh, pump. And oh, oh, they're back. They're done. They're done. They don't like it. They don't uh, like it. They do not like it. I did have fun. That was kind of good, good grindy, good grindy magic. We, um, uh, we Just made a lot of dudes. Played. Everything we played was card advantage. Like, it either drew cards or came with these dudes. Yeah, I think Whereas every they were turn... Like this, which did not draw cards. Or this, which did not draw cards. Yeah, it felt like every turn we did something quite powerful. Like, we've got... Our board's, like, twice the size of theirs, and we've got four cards in hand to their one. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that no, was, you're that right. Was, that was impressive. Cool. Huh. Well... I... I'm gonna be... I'll be happy if the, like, the black-red deck is loaded to the guilds with card advantage. That's cool. Yeah, I am a big fan. And and as someone who plays Anya Falconrath in Commander, um, black-red, like, card advantage dot deck is kind of hilarious. Like, it feels like you're getting away with something. Is that like a sacrifice-based deck? It's it's sacrifice... It's not really. It's It's more like a madness deck. Like... Your commander oh, right. has discard a card, draw a card, tape to her, and she untaps whenever uh, you uh, discard a card with madness. So I play oh, it as like okay, a madnessy, right. reanimatey sort of deck, and um, it's it's quite strong. And you rarely run out of cards, which is impressive. That um that Nizumi Link Breaker was really good in that game. 
yeah, crucial one like CMC dude to get out f- with your three drop from um uh the waltz. Yeah, the dirge. Sorry, the dirge. Whoa, what are we what are we plotting? Uh, I thought it was going to be Aloe Alchemist. Oh, my favorite guy. <laughs> I wonder how many people watched to the very end of the pre-release video. If you didn't, you should go and do that right now. Yeah, you missed out if you didn't. You really did. Um, wow, I like the Bloodseeker. Look, how good is this thing? Yeah. Yeah, two mana tutu with lifelink. Just hello, oh. alchemist. <laughs> hello, alchemist. Hello. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. Wow. Can I just quickly, just quickly, for, for everyone, yeah. that was turn two. Three. three, three, three. Oh, they missed the land. Away. Oh, God, I was losing my mind. I was like, is that what this format really is? But there have been some kind of insane turns. Like, plot leads to some really just, like, big explosive turns. I can which imagine. Which are really, really fun. Hello, Alchemist. Um, and so playing with counter spells in this set, is really interesting because you know how sometimes you, you get to a turn where you're like, I could play like my mediocre two or three drop or I could just hold up this counter spell. I could oh, hold uh, up the counter spell yeah. and have their three or four drop. You can't do that in this yeah, set. Yeah, because they just go, oh, as- plot my thing and you go, oh. Exactly. Exactly. So like the counter spells are really powerful. Like fan- phantom interference is is just really good. Mm. Um, I don't like ooh. this. I hate this, in fact. I almost want to take the damage here. Um... Like I'd, I'd, I'd far prefer to like put our creatures in the red zone. Once we have access to Skullduggery, yeah. And we got a great yeah. crack back, by the way. Like it's fine. We do, yeah, yeah. I think they were really hoping to pick up some creatures there, because that could have been. Yeah, um, I felt, I felt that, I felt that in my bones. Because that could have been like the thing I'm really afraid of. There is take up the shield, which gives plus yes. one life link. Um, I reckon uh, you pump the Bloodseeker and attack. I want to pump Bloodseeker because there's a bunch of things that destroy an attacking creature. Oh, are there? So I'm more. In, I'm yeah. There's a there's a single white deal two damage to an attacking or blocking creature, and there's a one and a white destroy attacking creature gain two life. Why don't so you? I'm more inclined you... to just turn sideways. Okay. Given that they've conspicuously left off a bunch of mana, or there's that. Anchor target spell. Okay. It's not an amazing use of that. Oh, they're going to get nuked. Goodbye. Oh, this they is terrible. Are. Yeah. It's terrible for them. I hate this for them. Wow, this sucks. Hilarious if they decide no blocks after all of this. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, whoops. Now, do I want to keep... <laughs> do I keep my guy alive or get in an extra point of damage? I think you keep as your in, guy alive. As in, I can make this a 2-2 two, two and this a 1-1. One, one, or I could just make this a 1-1 one, one and this a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, oh, the latter. Sorry. Absolutely you the like latter. That? Yeah. You like that? Because okay. I, I feel um, like we're sort of committed to the race a bit. And this My guy, helps. guy. And then we oh. can play the prickly pair. More pairs. They're so prickly. Uh, this is my prick for best card name in the Oh, set. God. I was okay, not prepared for that. It's still my favorite name in the set. This one's very clever. I also just like the, the cactus dudes with guns. That's so much fun. You are you are a big fan of the cactus folk. I think it's just so clever. I love anytime it. We die to, anytime we die to a cactus, we're absolutely making... Oh, no, we're cactus, Adrian. <laughs> And they go again. Um, oh, I am now tempted to force a spell here with the second prickly pair. Or do we just take the six again? I was going to take it. Like, if they're going for, like, a take up the shield. Does this destroy? Uh, I think I'd like to do this in response. Oh, oh okay. Now we've stuck their giant beaver in our way. All right. Um, kill, so- kill beaver. Kill beaver. Swing. Beaver, swing for seven. And put 
put Dang the three? put the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 read my mind. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Can we do full money? No, we can't do full money. Nah. Go away. This guy is single-handedly keeping us in this game. Yeah, that's, that's winning us the race. Um, yeah, they can swing back to equalize the life totals now. Yeah. What does that or do? Two. That's fine. Creatures you control gain trample. Oh, have they realized they're not the beatdown anymore? And notably, this is not take up the shield mana. Oh, okay. Okay, they. Oh, okay, not so we're close. the beat down. Yeah. We're still beating down. Can they have another removal spell? Okay, now I can. I can ruckus the Bloodseeker. You can ruckus the. And then you can play ruckus Headler. The... Do you want? Can or... we get? Or can I get a little greedy with you, Sam? And contractor first. No, yeah, so pump the Bloodseeker, contract away yeah. the token, draw yeah. that draw that second land, and then um uh Ruckus the Bloodseeker anyway. Greed is good. Me. Oh, that two life is a ooh, is a tricky one. I think we attack um, anyway. Do I attack with Everything. We go up to nine. If they can give everything trample. Ooh, maybe not everything. I think I leave a prickly pair back. Okay. And then plot the ruckus. Or do yeah. we leave the ruckus as a surprise? No, no, we'll plot it. We'll plot it. We need to play mana efficient. Um, so a little choke on lands. So yeah, if I attack with these two, then I'm leaving four toughness back, and they've got ten power. That that seems fine. Could go wrong, but I suspect they're going to trade off Grizzly for Bloodseeker. Oh, they've got the. Uh, wow. Oh, we might be de might be dead now. So that that was one yeah, mana kill target attacking creature. No, no, two damage. Two damage. If you control the mount as you cast the spell. Oh, four damage. Four damage. Okay, yeah, we're dead. We're dead. So they've got ten trample, and we've only got four toughness. Oh. We'll see if they. We'll see if they spot it. But I suspect they will. Suspect was in the previous set. Oh, uh, sorry. I always get that wrong. Out of yeah. one. That's okay. the first time I've ever seen this card matter. Creatures you control gain trample. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and they did have, and they had to take up the shield all along. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. maybe the two life on here was a little too greedy. Yeah, I forgot about the two life. I was yeah. I was like two cards. Are you kidding I know, me? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so if we'd Yeah, and if we'd ruckus we would have got out of the way of that. No, because it was four damage. Whatever we ruckus would have been killed. So just the cheap interaction there was uh was what did us in. Uh yeah, yeah. At the end, they had... Yeah, because yeah, I had one mana. One mana kill one of our things and take up the shield. Blobfish King. Oh, 96. This is... I'm in. Fine. If we draw a mountain, we'll be feeling good. Meep, meep. Meep, meep. Yeah, that's exciting. I'm glad that the Roadrunner is on the card now. And protection from coyotes. Hilarious. I wonder I wonder how Disney feel about 
Wizards just printing a very obvious Roadrunner and Coyote cards in the set. That's a really good point. Ooh, what is I've this? not really thought about it. The Strix. Tap itself. Please. Yeah. Oh. Um, because like Wizards must have paid Lord of the Rings Inc. rather a large amount of money in order to print Lord of the Rings cards. And Disney's hanging out over there being like, when are we getting some of that sweet, sweet Hasbro money? And Hasbro's just like, we'll make them without you. We don't care. <laughs> I have a feeling it's not a case of, um, well, I guess people are getting paid regardless, but I have a feeling these kinds of universes beyond products are probably whoever... Ooh, that's terrifying. Whoever's owns the, like, you know, like the IP is um is getting like a percentage of sales or something, rather than like a licensing fee. I reckon. See, this is why you don't self mill. Uh, you reckon it's a percentage of sales, not a licensing? Fee. Yeah, I would, I would, I would, I reckon so. Huh. Okay. Because I reckon the licensing fee would pale in in comparison to a percentage of sales and. Like no one fr front costs is great for it's great for Hasbro and everyone makes money, everyone feels good about it. And Two, three. land I hear. Can I get a can I get a skullduggery? You can get a mountain. Okay. Well they haven't plotted anything yet, so that's good. That's true. So yeah, right now if they just go like double plot that five four lifelink, uh, that five four the gain story. Oh, um. yeah, <laughs> it's kind of nuts. Yeah, that's true. Is it? Is another one I think could see constructed play. Um, yeah, I have a feeling it's like, uh, it's it's usually not often we get a two mana commander, and this is one of the better ones I think. And I know I we're thinking about commander. very different uh, formats, but... Yeah, um, I want to pair this with Underworld Breach and Past in Flames. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, of course. Um, but green-blue cards out of the graveyard, I think is a neat little commander deck. I think it's fun. Commander Brawl, I think it's a fun, fun idea. Wow, Whoa. they not want to trade off that patient. What did they mill? Oh, it's this Honest guy's... Rutstein. This guy's insane. Okay, we can stop drawing lands now. We've got to go to 15 um, lands, Sam. Also, we're not allowed to go 1-3 um, on our first video. No, it seems inadvisable, doesn't it? So I could trade off here to get one of those 2-3s out of the way. But that would probably unlock a big attack from them. So. Yeah, I do have a feeling that you're right. Uh, what might look good next turn, actually, is just an attack with everything. Trade off the boards, we draw a card. Yeah, it's also Strange. sus enough in this format that they just don't block. Yeah. In which case, they take five, they take 11. They gain four. Yeah, it's okay. That's not bad. Um, yeah, wow, well, I... This format is... I like how the rock with the googly eyes look. It like it looks like it's buried in the desert. You know what this is? What is it? This is Dwayne. Oh, Dwayne the Rock. Yeah. Wish we knew what his um. last name was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they didn't make this attack last turn, which makes me think they now have tricks. So I don't think I want to double block. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Man, this I like how this format is really powerful stuff and then lots of tricks to protect it and everything. Yeah, yeah. This is a good choice of island. I like this one. Which one is this one? Oh, this is um bot B B for B What the Wow, they got a few few naturalists, huh? Very patient. So humble. Oh, there we go. Get out of here. That's gone. 
Okay, all right. Now ah, I see what they're doing. We could, we could go contracting, lose two life. Yeah. I don't mind that, actually. Yeah, neither. We draw on a few lands for our 16 land deck. Sack the token. Ugh, drawing two cards feels illegal. Oh, hello. Okay, dull okay. skurgery. Okay, now we're talking. And now we're, we're swinging right. now. Yeah, I attack with Bloodseeker, right? You gotta play the swamp first, though. You gotta make sure you do that. There we go. Because this is great. We've shown our desperation. We're like, oh, we just need that life. Oh, okay. I wonder if this is just the format where, like, everyone's Whoa. just terrified to block all the time. Yeah. And so you just end up in these races. Like, who has the better tricks? Oop. 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 What are we doing? So I blocked this way to try and incentivize them to put their trick. Can you on hear the a gentle list? clopping in the background? I'm not sure I can hear. Um, oh yeah, uh, Dwayne was the uh, was the April Fool's avatar. Oh nice. And they they gave it away real cheap, and so lots of people have this now. Um, yeah, so I blocked this way to try to incentivize them to put a trick on the patient naturalist rather than Doc or Lock. So that I can kill Doc Orlock in combat. Yeah, wow, they're really the, having to think about it. With the dull scuggery. We do love a bit of dull scuggery here at the draft bunks. Um, I would like to know how this wheel ended up here. Because it started wheel. over here. And it's just gone. Oh, oh, that's a good point. Nothing. Well, I guess we do it. Uh, doesn't matter which way I do it. Do you go for maximum, maximum blowouts? Well, yeah, but like, do I, do I shrink theirs or increase mine in which way? I'm not sure it matters. I think you increase the road run. Yeah, that's what I think. I think this is. A point removal at something, we point removal at the thing that matters the least. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, yeah. This, uh, this format's gonna give me anxiety, Sam. It could well, yeah. I hadn't expected... Like, every other deck I've, I've played has been, like, big green stuff. Or blue-white, don't tap out. I haven't done, like, a combat deck yet. And yeah, man, needing to navigate combat in this set is kind of terrifying. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Thinking. You can kind of see what, like, everything is card advantage, right? Like, they, all of these oh, drew what, a card. What did they just do? What went moo? Uh, is that just their avatar? No? What, what went buzz? Yeah, I heard a buzz that, and a moo. They haven't tapped any mana. Are they going to activate the Strix? Is there a, just a cow near your apartment? Three steps ahead. Counter the spell, make a token. Okay, well that's... It's not awesome. No. And we're looking a little dead. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. They'll, <laughs> and they'll pay a 4-2 for one. <laughs> <laughs> that we get to give them a card with. Oh. And a land! Oh, okay. Wow, go us! What could we draw, Sam, to make it all better? Another one of them. Um, They have five creatures in play that can trip. Well... Yeah, naturalist. Oh, the clopping is back. 
Oh yeah, I can hear it now. <laughs> um, the naturalist so... cantrips asterisk, but the shark and marauder definitely did. These drew a card. Plus, filled their graveyard for other benefits. But they, they drew a card. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I guess I just pass, but probably still dead. I can gain four life up to 11. Oh, I think we're just dead. I mean, probably, yeah. Because even if we gain four life up to 11... Mm, yeah, it's not looking good. Or they just like attack in the air and we feel sad about ourselves. Yeah. Do you like to feel sad about yourself, Sam? So yeah, Marauder Marauder puts us to seven. And then there's exactly seven coming through. Oh cool. Well, just maybe ma chewing. Maybe they don't maybe they don't attack with all off. Chewing through the deck. Nope. They attack with all off. They do. Um, alright, I'm gonna block you and you. Out of principle, yeah. You gotta block the thing that matters the most out of principle. Man, if this is a skullduggery and we had one more land, I would feel sad. You feel sad? Shame none of them have first strike. There's that coffin. Oi, it's coffin. Uh, none of them have first strike, so I can't, like, get my, my rogue to die. <laughs> True. One of the very few times in Magic where you wish their things had first strike. I right, just got more, more stuff to do. Oh, yeah. The answer would be yes. Would have gone to exactly zero. Wow. Okay. That was that was very impressive from the opponent. Yeah. Um. This format is bonkers. It's very powerful. It's bonkers. I, this reminds me of uh, March of the Machine Week One, it, where we were just like, "What the hell? What are these decks?" Yeah. It's like it feels like, and maybe it's because I haven't played March of the March of the Machine in like a year, but it feels like March of the Machine times two. It feels insane. Like there is every card is card advantage. Every removal spell costs zero mana. Um, <laughs> it feels wild. Yeah. I'm so keen for a back for more deck, though. That's all I want to do oh, yeah. is revisit the glory days of back for more. And people who... Can I, uh, can I draft one during the shout-out for it? No. We've, we've done this before and we'll <laughs> never do it again because it's terrible because you can't pay attention. <laughs> no more drafting during the shout out row. It's a terrible idea. No, it's great. People tell him that you would watch the shout out row if there was a draft going on in the back. No, <laughs> which you wouldn't be able to see because of the comments. Don't put the comments up. <laughs> okay. Just more draft. That's what people come for. Just more draft. I mean, um, we are the draft punks. Yeah. So this was. I, I thought this would be good, and it was better than I thought it would be. Yeah, this is this is good, especially when you got ways to turn it into two cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Along with these two, and these these were very good as well. Um, these were great. Uh, Notably, these are like one of the one of the cheap cards you want to play that is not an outlaw. Yeah, true. That's um, true. I think this would have been good if we ever drew it. I like this one. I don't like this one. Unless you're, like, dedicated aggro. I don't think this should have been in the deck. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I think I, I... When we were building and, like, looking at our curve, I was thinking we were going to be more aggro than we were. We were much more just, like, grindy. Yeah, in hindsight, yes. Yeah, so... And there's also just really good yeah, like creatures everywhere, so... Assuming you can get in with your, like, 2x yeah, is maybe not a thing you can assume. Unless you're yeah. just brimming with removal and maybe Skullduggery is the answer, but I don't know. I mean, we saw from last set with the, the red herring that, like, 2 mana 2-2 two, two haste is good. 
Tutu, um, Tutu is haste is good. Um, but you've got to have an aggro deck to put it in. Which but also really maybe not this set. I don't know. That's it, right? Yeah, like I, I've yet to see a convincing aggro deck in this set, which has me very excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> these are great. This is good. So pack one, pick one. Which would you take? This or this? <sighs> contractor. I would take the contractor every time. Because this has got a higher ceiling, but you have to build around it. Whereas nah. this gives you, this gives you like most of that effect for no setup. But it's also a three-one. It's a three-one. That that was my hesitation as well, which means it trades with the mercenary tokens. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't like it. Oh, okay. All right. I do not like it. I get that it draws you a card, but it just never goes to combat. You can just leave it on defense, right? Just trade. With uh, their I mean, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Maybe this is just a blocker. Yeah. But Interesting. I um Yeah, we never saw this card. Advantage. Um These are great. Prickly Pair's good, but yeah, I don't know. It's something maybe it's just the matches we played today, but the two two the two two like grizzly bears plus a one one is maybe not enough. Which is hilarious. Right. <laughs> Saying that is exciting, hilarious. Right? Yeah, because this effect has been the best card in the set for the last, like, six sets in a row. And it's really tedious. So if we've now got a set where this is not actually that good, I'll be very happy. But it was good every time we played it. Like, it was, but we were, like, like, we were tacking our our three mana 2-2 two, two, two into their, like, three mana 2-3. And that felt bad. I mean, I'm thinking more of, like, it created, like, in that second to last round, the long one that we won, where it, this just made enough of a board that we went around them. Oh, the mercenary true. token pumped up the life linker. The mercenary token got sacrificed to this multiple times. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not. Now I'm back. I was thinking yeah. of it in a vacuum, but you're right. I'm back now. Yeah. Yeah. Um... um this was fantastic. And we didn't even use it very well. We just, like, traded it off multiple times, and it was still great. Yep. Good card. Uh, good card. Yep. Would would play again. Um, this card actually seems kind of busted. I this agree. thing seems kind of phenomenal. Uh, and we weren't even enabling it all that well. Like, we had two Bloodseekers, but that was it. The um, fact that like- it goes up on cards all the time, and it... Like, the fact that they could, you could play it on turn five, they got one card left in hand, you nab a three drop and draw a card. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah. That seems really good. Also, it's a Spectre. Was the last time we had a Spectre? Uh, it's not I even a spirit expect- or a ghost. It's a Spectre. I expect we had one recently. Oh, anyway. my God. Um, <laughs> and, and all of that, and you can probably cast it for like two or three mana pretty easily. True. Just, just nuts. Like, we weren't turning it on that well, and we played it for two. Imagine just in green-black, where you've got Soul Seekers and Patient Naturalists and you just, and, and the Hound. Just put your deck in your bin, play this for one mana, play Spider Spawning. Yeah. I'm, I'm very excited for, for, for black-green graveyard stuff. Oh, me excited. too. I know it's the second set in a row where the draft punks yet again are excited only about the green-black deck, but this one's got back for more, um, uh, and that's that's everything to me. Uh, and that's not all that I'm excited about. Every, like, most of the archetypes look really cool. Um, so real human, meat draft, real human Meat Draft, I drafted blue-white, like, instant speed stuff and it was just wildly powerful it was unreal how good it was um, and so much fun to play like you just you hold up all of your mana on their turn and then depending on what they do you play protection spell counter spell holy cow um card draw like you just get to just have your pick of everything it was so good so i'm excited about the blue decks i'm excited about the graveyard decks um yeah that's cool uh this was probably at its weakest that i've seen in those games but it was still fantastic yeah, this card this card seems quite good. Yeah. Uh this was good. 
removal out of 10. This was good. <laughs> Um, this was good. Yeah, not as completely stupid as immediately thought, but great. I like the use of the passive, the passive voice there. Yeah, some yeah, yeah. thought. Yeah, yeah, that, some sorry. thought it might have been busted. Yeah, so like, let me. Okay, my apologies. People were saying I that it might stupidly, be <laughs> just idiotically. <laughs> um, misread this card and therefore thought it was like the second coming of Victimize. Um, yeah. but it is not that, and I am forever, uh, I'm forever sorry. Thank you. Uh, yeah, one of my, one of my opponents on Monday was using this to fetch Honest Rutstein every time. Oh. And so Rutstein comes in, picks up the other thing from your graveyard and then gives everything a reduction. Nice. So, like, even, even just, like, five mana Honest Rutstein was good. Um, this was good, but you've got to be on the front foot. Yes. If you're, like, if you're, if you're behind, it, it, it don't do nothing. No, it, so again, no, it doesn't. Maybe, maybe we built, maybe we made a few card choices that were leaning a little too aggressive. Yeah, that's true. I, we, we sort of thought, oh, yeah, we're really aggressive. We're going to be beaten down yeah. as soon as we can. Um, so yeah, maybe like the, the Roadrunner and the Ruckus should have been, um, like another Peddler and a Mine Raider or something like that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe put in one of the removal, maybe put this back in. I could, I could definitely see that that might've been the right way to do it. Oh yeah. That's a fair point. Yeah. Um, maybe this... Could have been okay as well. Surprise! I wasn't dead. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, that was that, that was cool. That was very instructive. That yeah, black red is going to be grind them out, not beat them down. Yeah. Yeah. Really interesting to see if um if any of you guys in the chat have any experiences with black red, or just let me know about the experiences you got so far. Let us know. Yeah. No, I mean, you could just to hear. you could just address your comments to me. I'll take that. Because Adrian does so much of the community engagement on this channel. I read the shout out, Drew. That's true. Have you read the comments yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like to Let's save go to the, shout the shout out, out Drew. <laughs> Let's go to the shout out, Drew, where we uh, read the comments. Reveal that Sam has already read and responded to each and every person in the comment section. And all of this will be news to Adrian. You can even leave the same comment twice and he won't even notice until he starts to read out loud the second one. Speaking of, here it is. This is where we give personalized shout outs to the top eight comments on our last video, plus a personalized shout out to all the new commenters. While we get that ready um, and Adrian reads the comments for the first time. Today's pick of the week's up on screen now. Drop um, us a comment. Every time I Let come here, I am abused. What you would have taken for the very first Outlaws of Thunder Junction draft. And we might feature you in this segment next week. Adrian. Do you have any idea what the fine folks said about Pick of the Week last week? I have never suffered such abuse. <laughs> okay, abuse aside, for the final Murders of Carl of Mana draft, uh, we have got people in the shout outro. Let's start it off with new commenter Biscuits Joe, who says, So, for that last turn, I agree with Adrian about giving the team vigilance and swinging. I think instead of flipping the Stalker, you give the face down Death Touch, then play Massacre Girl post combat. You'd end the turn with three blockers, so Op would need an additional removal slash bounce slash tap spell after the urgent Necro to kill you. This is this is good stuff. You double block the Bloomkin and whatever they don't kill with the Necro, then you win the following turn with whatever survives, assuming they didn't have a forest in hand to play pre-combat and make it a 6-6. Six -six. Great end to another great draft punk set. Looking forward to the Yeehaw set, cowboy emoji. Yeah, so this is obviously for a dead format that nobody cares about anymore. But this was that that really complicated <laughs> last turn that we had on our last Call of Mana game, actually. It was the very last turn of that set, um, where we had Trostani, and so we could have given Vigilance or Double Strike to our stuff, kind of depending on what they did. And they had lots of open mana that could have represented lots of different things. Um, it was a really, really tough turn. 
Uh, I, mean, I, think, I think we used up all our time trying to figure out the best way to navigate what was going on. Oh, they had a morph as well, which just made things even more complicated. Um, really, really tricky, but I actually completely agree with Joe. I think giving giving everything vigilance was the key there. Because um, that would have played around a lot of what they could have had to make sure that we didn't die on the crackback. Um, so I think that's a that's a really smart analysis. That was a really interesting turn. Um, and yeah, I, I, I agree with Joe there. Which is a tacit agreement with Adrian about giving the team vigilance and swinging. So uh, I will take it. But you, you don't just get to like claim that you made that idea when you didn't. You don't get to claim that I don't read the comments ever, because I do. Re- uh, I'm reading them right now. Um, mm. Anyway, thank you, Biscuits Joe. Fantastic to see you in the comment section. I believe this is your first turn. Um, so regardless, thank you so much. Keep on commenting. We'd love to see you, you know, give us a comment on this video. Tell us how you went. Did you play pre-release? Have you played a draft? Have you uh, jumped on Arena and spent the first 24 hours drafting like Sam has? Let us know. What? No. Maybe. (laughs) Anyway, thank you, Biscuits Joe. Excellent to see you. Next up, we have got Mork, and Mork is back. And Mork is an OG, one of the O-est of Gs. And uh, Mork says... Smiboluance. It's not a word. Smiboluance. Did I say that in a video? I don't know. Did you? I probably did. It sounds like something I would say. Yeah, why did you say that? I can't remember. People need to remember that, like, if I say something in a video, I forget it almost immediately. Um... (laughs) I'm I'm just riding by the seat of my pants every video. It's all none of it is planned. All of it is straight off the dome. Do you remember why I said Smiboli with Sam? Because I can't. Uh yeah, we were we were talking about cool words, and so you said oh. <laughs> And I'm glad that you um I feel like you got the spelling right on that more, because that's how I spelled it in my mind. So Smiboluance is uh that's a great word. What do you reckon it means? Like what like oh that has a high high amount of sm- smiboluance. Uh I'm gonna think about that. Read the next comment. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get you a good answer on that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. As always, fantastic to see you. Hope to see you soon. Couple of you're still with us. Um, agreed. Uh next up we've got the Bog Bogan. Bog Bogan once again at it. So good to see you, Bog Bogan. Bog Bogan says, because next video it's a weird in-between call between two sets, I have nothing left to say about MKM and nothing yet to be said about OTJ. So I'll entertain Sam with a bit of math instead. Oh, here we go. Never was into math, but I was cracked at geometry. I guess I just think in shapes. Hmm. One of my brighter moments during geometry class was this. Whole class got this task. Here's a cube with dimensions two by two by two, but it's missing one of its corner one by one by one chunks. Exact dimensions were different, but that's irrelevant. So the corner is kind of indented. We had to find the surface area of this object. Everyone did this by separating the L-shaped sides of the object into rectangles, summing up all of those. I thought, wouldn't it be easy to calculate the surface area of the whole two by two by two cube first and remove the area of the missing part? For some reason, I thought surface area would work like volume. However, during calculations, it turned out that the area of the two by two by two cube is the same, even if it had a chunk missing. And I visualize it mentally by dragging those smaller one by one uh, squares back into the full cube. I showed my solution to the computer teacher and they were delighted just as i was but didn't uh brought this to the class that's cool so just for anyone who had trouble visualizing that it's basically just a cube with a smaller cube taken out of one corner yeah like the question is what's the surface area where the faces of that cube are the half the size they're like half the width and height of the the big cube not that it not that it matters it doesn't actually matter none doesn't matter what size cube you take out it won't change the surface area that's kind of clever. But I guess, yeah, yeah, like, in my mind, I visualize, like, I'm inside the cube, okay? Get 
get with me here. I'm inside the okay. cube. I reach yeah. out from inside the cube. I grab one of the corners and I pull it in and I flatten sort of the sides that I make. Oh, that's interesting. I've never visualized them like that before. Um, you, get a, you get a similar concept in 2D when you're working out the perimeter of uh, usually like a, a, like a collection of rectangles forming a shape. Um, like, yeah, if you take a rectangle and then just like indent anywhere as much as you want. Oh, no, not, not, sorry, not indent, outdent. Um, it doesn't change the perimeter. Outdent. Out I explained dent. that badly. If you do the same thing with a rectangle and you take like all four of its corners and like push each of them in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, as long as you do all of it in, like, vertically and horizontally, it doesn't change the perimeter. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so, um, it's, a, it's actually a, a problem that I like giving to my students. Like, I'll just give them that problem. And usually someone tweaks that you can work them out really quickly like that. Um, like, some people go through the, the slow process of working each little bit out. And then eventually someone realizes that you can do it the fast way. I had, I had one student call it the phantom method. There's like <laughs> the phantom, phantom method. Because there's like phantom lengths that are still on the rectangle. I guess so. That's fun. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I'm a big fan of like students just like discovering it for themselves because it, like, it, it just implants it deeper than if you're just like told. Oh, yeah. 100%. So, yeah. Good stuff, Bob that's a, a That's a cool one to discover. On your own, and it's harder to do in 3D than, than 2D. So, yeah, that's good stuff. A hundred percent. Well, thank you, Bob Ogan, and thank you for Math Punks. Great, great little digression into Math Punks. Uh, next up, we've got Dane DeLaurier, who is back once again, and Dane DeLaurier says, this, that Jenkins dude seems to give hope, then leaves. What a bastard. The whole Jenkins family, the lot of them, rotten to the core. They're a bunch of crooks, yeah. Complete outlaws, every last one of them. Um, Dane doesn't, doesn't matter how many you defenestrate; they just keep coming back. That's true. Well. I I have a pile of Jen Jenkai Jenkai <laughs> Jenkinses. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jenki I um outside my my window, so uh, I will continue to add to the pile. Uh, Dane then sort of gives us a bit of an answer to the 11 question special. So like, you know, just a little, you know, just dips, dips his toes in a little bit. Dane says, did I like the format? Meh. Favorite common. Dog walker seemed to do all the work. Favorite uncommon has to be the drone smith for me. Ah, I see you're a red player. He actually got me my only trophy this format with double satchel. Ooh. Ooh. Dronesmith double satchel. That's that's yeah. got to be nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I don't think I ever had that actually. Didn't we do something like it on the draft punks? Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, well there you go. Yeah, you're right, we did. Yeah. Um, Dan then says, "Can't believe you just let the unicorn sit for two rounds of you casting nothing in game two. You let it get such value on you while whilst waiting for value. Ah, the." The pa the patient punk. Uh, there's a there's a fable in there. So, but the patient punk reaps the value. Value comes to those who wait. I'm gonna come up with something good. I need more time though. Oh, okay. uh, unicorn doesn't generate value. Just generates <laughs> damage. Damage isn't value. Damage is value. Damage isn't value. Damage is value. Winning the game, that's, that's value. Winning the game often comes at the expense of value. Well, <laughs> I like the idea that the the theoretical endpoint of the ways Sam likes to play Magic is just a game where you there is no combat step and there is no way to kill the opponent. You just sit there amassing value off of your cards until some at some uh, you know amorphous point where the game ends. I like that. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, don't you hate it when you get to that point where you're like, I could cast a Traxxer here and draw six cards. Oh, no, they're dead. I can just kill them. Damn. <laughs> we all know that feeling. It sucks. No one likes that. I'm going to invent a trading card game where 
the object is to deck yourself. Like, everyone just always has Lab Man in the command zone or something. So the whole the whole game is around decking yourself. That's kind of cool. That is actually kind of cool the way of it. And, like, you can have interactive cards, right? The cards that put cards back in their library. That's kind of fun. I like this now. On the, on the other end of that... Oh. Uh, and I, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this. Um, I've played a card game that was designed by Michael Raymond, um, where instead of having a life total, whenever you're dealt damage, you lose that many cards from your library. Oh. And so I was playing it like a magic player, and holy moly, did I draw a lot of cards, and I did. Ha. I lost. So, like, there's pressure on the amount of value that you can generate because it gets you closer to losing. That must have been, that must have been, like, mortifying for you. Well, it's also a little bit like playing with a low life total at all times, so I kind of liked it. Okay. Okay, that's, yeah, that's two, two very different parts of Sam uh, pulling against at each other. Mm. Well... Dane then says, uh, I agree with the fact that black was actually good. I had, it had such amazing removal, especially long goodbye. Or is that just a long goodbye that's especially long? Um, and all the fun cards. Stealing the top X cards off of your opponent's deck. That card was mm. quite strong. Even when they up, <laughs> when they end up being lands invariably, was still fun as heck. Yeah, that card was strong. It was very cool. Yeah. Especially when they, um, lift like your one answer with it and they counter your spell with your counter spell it's dirty <sighs> yep <laughs> <laughs> and in my personal news I turned 50 on April the 7th I'm 50 50 50 sexy sex <laughs> That's what it means. I'm 50, 50, 50 sexy. Um, I think it's so positive, Dane, that not only do we have uh, listeners of all ages, that you are so excited about turning 50 that you had to end it with 50, 50 sexy. Agreed. And we do have, we do have punklings of all ages. I think Mackay's about 12. Um, <laughs> the boy so this genius. Is, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The boy genius. Um, yeah, who knows how old Michael is? God damn. Well, no, anyway, no thank you. Uh, thank you, Dane. As always, great to have you in the comments. Uh, happy birthday. It was about 10 days yeah, ago birthday. now. Um, enjoy 50-50 sexy. <laughs> Does that mean only, ha- only sexy half the time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's great. Thank you, Dane. Uh, onwards to Instant Electron. Instant Electron got pinned, which is rare. That's a rare... That is a rare trait for a commenter. Um, beca- oh, yeah. But that's because Incident has kind of uh, really knocked it out of the park on this one. Incident says, My body is a machine that transforms gems into bad draft takes, and <laughs> I'm all out of gems. <laughs> Uh, it's a fantastic, it's a fantastic quote of Sam by incident here. <laughs> I remember when Sam said, it, "I was like, wow, that's all time. That's that's hilarious." And maybe, hey, if you guys want that on a t-shirt, we can oblige. That actually sounds like a really good one. I, I, I would, I would sell it. I'd even that wear that great, t-shirt, actually. I reckon. That's a great t-shirt to wear to draft night. That's, that, that'll get some laughs. Put on a playmat, maybe? Ooh. Or playmat. Yeah, playmat's a good one. Yeah. Um, so, hey, we we know what you are, Incident, and we know that your body is a machine that transforms uh, quotes from Sam into great comments. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, feels like it's been a little bit since we've seen you in the comment section, but... Uh, do keep it up. Uh, let us know if you uh, pre-released or drafted or, you know, maybe you've even uh, put put some of those OTG, o- OTG, OTJ cards in your constructed deck. How's, how's it been going? Let us know. 
And crazy, yeah. And lastly, we have got double comment. We got Michael. We got Michael Raymond, the classic, the best. We're gonna start off with Rainbow Michael, who says, "Draft Punk's OG fans know we're lucky we got to the final video without Mackay Clown doing an actual murder and revealing it in his YouTube profile picture and a series of nonsense pick of the week choices." Um, yes. If anyone has the time, by the way, and would really like to go through um, what was a fantastic period in Draft Punk's history. Go to around, I think, Midnight Hunt, Crimson Vow, Streets of New Capenna. Yeah. That's when it all went down. Um, even if you just, like, don't watch the videos, skip forward to the chat outro and specifically to Makai's comments, you you will watch quite the, quite the tale, quite the conundrum unravel uh, before you. So, um, yeah. Uh, and if you go, if you go to the last video of those sets, um, we included a bit at the end with some fantastic editing. <laughs> I forgot. Um, yeah, that was fun. Um, called the Ma- the Makai Supremacy. Um, for the yeah, the first the first one and two, we did it a section at the end of the shout out throw, and for the, the third one was so outrageous. We, we did made it as a, its own video. We made it the whole video. If you want to see the absolute hell that we were put through. Um, I, it, was, it was a fantastic period. I'm glad we don't have to deal with it anymore, but it was a very fantastic period. It was it was great fun. And Mackay is uh, forever held in a special place uh, on the channel uh, for that. And um, for for the sheer amount of effort that Mackay put into uh, his fun puddle puzzles, he was rewarded with a uh, guest spot on a video one day and you can, you can find that as well. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did an arena cube with, with Mackay, um, which he used to plant further seeds. I for know, his next. I know. Just outrageous. Uh, Mackay plays a very deep game. Um, yeah. so, uh, Michael, uh, the rainbow, the gathering out of the way, we've got purple Michael, who's the only commenter to do the 11 question special um we know it's a lot uh so you don't really have to do it but if you do get it you will be rewarded with a prime premium spot at the end of the shout out row. and let's get it uh, let's start it off uh michael raymond did you like the format michael says i found that i really didn't whoa i think this was a really weak showing for morph and that was basically uh impossible to come back from I have lots of thoughts, but my biggest is that there should have been uh, one mana disguise cards other than the Nervous Gardener. Um, people who watched last video will realize that I think I'm in agreement is that they kind of fumbled the bag on Morph. It, yeah, your your opinion was that they, like the particular, dis- like the, the the way they did disguise was good, but the individual designs left something to be desired. Am I well, right on the, that? The, the, the set as an environment, I think. They wanted to yeah, have yeah. a set with good removal and morphs, but, and because of this and, like, Shock just being an insane in a morph format, they whacked Ward 2 on it, which I think is, like, you know, probably the best move you can make. I think even still that, being able to efficiently remove morphs on turn 3, um, the other more format that I've played, which is Khan's, is kind of really interesting because it's so different from basically every uh, draft set you've ever played where the removal all sucks, but all of the morphs, like most of the morphs are like a lot of mana to flip up and are really powerful in that they you you use them as removal spells, whether on defense or offense, and that leads to a lot of clever gameplay with a lot of uh, combat tricks. Um, whereas that didn't really eventuate in this format. I'm sure you gobbled up some stuff, but yeah, not as not what I liked about Khan's. But I I mean I agree with Michael that because my my main issue with it was that all of the morphs were centered around five and six mana, which made them all interchangeable. 
So I agree with Michael that, yeah, if there were more one mana disguises, that would have been great. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Like, and that's the thing that they did um, in... Uh... In cons, they had a couple of free ones. Like, you just had to re- reveal cards from your hand to flip them up. Um, but they sort of shied away from that in this one, and they also were hesitant to make them quite cheap. Yeah, I, I think I agree with that. Um, moving on, though. Favorite common? Oh, Sam. Nervous Gardener. So good it should have yeah. been a cycle. Show me nervous librarian, the disguised blue creature with when this turns up face draw a draw a card. Ooh. You like? I, I mean I like. Seems very powerful, but yeah, I like. Um What part of what was fun about Nervous Gardener was that sometimes you like you attack with your two two, your normal two two. And you were happy to trade it with a morph because the morph can get better later. But then they flip it up and it's a nervous gardener. And you're like, ah, okay, that sucks. And so having that tension of, do I want to trade with the thing that could potentially be a 6-7? Or do I not want to trade with it because it's a nervous gardener or a nervous librarian? I think that would have been fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Michael then says, favorite uncommon... A Killer Among Us by a fair way. It plays like a dream and doubly so on Arena, where you can, uh, where you always have the tokens. That is very true. Yeah, we we were lucky. At, well, me and a few others were lucky because we got uh, those of us that were in the Magic Mates final got customized token packs with our faces on them. Oh, which that's right. All of those tokens. So we were lucky. But uh, yeah, the number of different tokens in that set and in this new one actually is a little bit of a pain. In paper, um, like I, I had, I've had a couple of moments already where I had three different tokens on the board that I didn't have the tokens for yet, so it gets a little bit tedious. Um, can I hit you with a hot one, Adrian? Hit me with a hot one. I was disappointed by a killer among us. Oh, not in terms of its power; it was very powerful. But when I read it, I was like, "Oh, this is great!" The mind games, the mind games. You like, you send in with one of them, and they don't block it. And that's hilarious. And then the next time you send in with a different one. Like, I was ready for all these cool mind games. But the way you do it every time is you just attack with the one that you named. They go, oh, okay, that's the one that you named. I'm not going to block it. You sack the thing. Now you've got a 4-4 four, four dude. Yeah. It, it was just the same every time. Like, it would have been really interesting if you had to attack with all three every time. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I see where you're right? going. Because that, that makes the, like, the hidden information part of it fun um but the fact that you could just attack with the one and then make it a four four was kind of boring it was really powerful but it wasn't very interesting yeah yeah i think i i think i agree but also i never really developed a strong opinion about that card other than i never really played with it but yeah that's that's i do believe that yeah um, Michael then says, favorite archetype slash deck. I'm on record saying that the only interesting deck was Chalk Outline. Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. Which is, I think, a bit of a indictment of the format. Like, it was fine. It was fine out of 10. But the fact that Chalk Outline was the only interesting th- thing to do meant that it wasn't, like, bad. Like, if there wasn't an interesting deck, then the format's, like, kind of lame. But... I feel like I've played worse formats, so hard to say. Um, the one that got away that you n- wish you had drafted, literally even a single copy of Lightning Helix. Like, you're not missing anything. It's just three damage. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, just yesterday, I finally got around to sorting out all my chaff that I drafted in MKM. Um, so would you, would you like some stats? Oh, give me some stats. Um, 12 copies of Out Cold, 12 copy, uh, 13 copies of Jaded Analyst, Jane, a playset of Foil okay. Snarling Gorehounds, 14 copies of Slice from the Shadows. Wow. Yeah, that tracks. 11 copies of Pick Your Poison, which is $2.50 each. And the foils, oh, which I have. $2.50? Foils, uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's, this, it's basically the same price as, uh, as Slime Against Humanity. Wow. Um, cause it's the, it's just like a must play in modern at the moment. Um, what, what does it do? Cap- 
uh, kills Leyland of the Guild Pact and Siam of Draco, which are in every game. Ah. Gotcha. Yep. Along with just any hate card, you need to get a need to get a rest in peace or whatever off the board does that too. Yeah. Um, and then to cap it all off, 18 copies of Nervous Gardener. <laughs> Love it. I expect nothing less. Love it. Oh, boy. Well, you know, if you oh, like a card, well, you like I mentioned a card. All of that. The reason I mentioned all of that is I had one copy of Lightning Helix and two copies of Novice Inspector. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I haven't checked yet. I have to check. Uh, favorite mechanic? It's got to be disguise. I agree with Sam that War Two was the perfect spot for the updated power level of face downs. I just have issues with how underwhelming almost all of the front sides were. Uh, I would almost give it to cloak instead of disguise. I mean, fair. We know my opinions about this. I actually, I completely agree with cloak over disguise, and I thought the same thing about. Uh, Morph and Manifest as well. I thought Manifest was a really, really fun design. Yeah, because Manifest, because Morph has existed since, like, forever. Onslaught, yeah. Um, but Manifest was new with Fate Reforged. Yes. And, yeah, Manifest is cool, and I agree that giving your Manifested card Ward 2 is good. I like it. Yep. Agreed. Yes. Uh, least favorite card to see on the other side, basic planes. The correct answer is... Nah, it's basic. Well, it's actually a face down because then it could be Vindicator. But <laughs> basic planes... That was my answer. I, that I was know. my answer to that question. That's because I like your answer better than I like mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> but no yep uh, favorite art hide in plain sight because it made me picture all face down creatures as cute little mushroom friends I never really thought of that but it's it's fun I'm disappointed that you never got my joke about that card no it wasn't you it was Michael sorry when I said you, I was talking to Michael. Oh, okay. Uh, why is the card that's called Hide in Plains Sight a green card? Oh, okay. That's because Wizards doesn't employ the Draft Punks um, in their, their name, their card design naming department. I mean, with that extended pun budget. Yeah. Maybe. They really should. They really should. They really should. Um... Favorite episode, easily episode six, styling unlimited players with this modern playable bomb. It's true. We like to think that we're the fun, scrappy uh, draft punks who can make a, a good video even when we don't win, but it is nice to win. Yeah. <laughs> Just 7 0 with Vein Ripper. Love yep. It. So, uh, yeah, that was ours too. Uh, best card nickname slash meme. This Ad is great. Hadrian's ongoing vetter, vendetta against green creatures depicting a person with magic emanating from one hand. Hopefully we get an elvish mystic reprint into standard soon. Just you wait. I'm yep. ready. Yep. I, I can't unsee it now. Like I've already sent I've already sent new ones to Adrian. We'll point them out when we <laughs> see them in packs. <laughs> like Green mage guy wearing a hat, by the way, wearing a hat. Yeah, um, but everyone in the last set had a hat. Everyone in this set's got a cowboy hat. A creature um, with green magic uh, emanating out of their right hand while looking at the camera. It's overplayed. It's overdone. I can't believe it. <laughs> and then um, finally, hot take. Play boosters are an improvement. I'm here for that. Yeah, they were good for that's MK. a that's a good hot take. I like that. They were good because yeah, there was a period of time a where the the sky was falling in, and everyone the sky was, was like, "Magic was over." Yeah, or limited was dead. They've killed. They've killed. They've draft. killed draft. They've killed limited. Um, but yeah, no play boosters. Fine. I think um, I have more foils in my collection than ever before. So that's yeah. fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, me too. I noticed that as I was going through the collection, actually. I've got a playset of foil snarling gorehounds. 
Wow. That's wow. What are you going to do with it? I think I'm giving them to our mate that's building the, oh. uh, the root stack in Pioneer. Oh, watch. Watch this space for the Pro Tour. Okay, the Draft Punk's early, early pick. The breakout deck in Standard. Is it Standard or is it Pioneer? It's Pioneer. Both, but his is Pioneer. The breakout deck in Pioneer and Standard is the... Uh, ske- what's it called? The Skeleton? What's the Skeleton called? Moss Pit Skeleton. Moss Pit Skeleton combo deck is coming to a Pro Tour near you. I'm calling it. Yeah, so Moss Pit Skeleton says uh, whenever a counter is put on one of your creatures, put it from your graveyard on top of your library. So if you've got a Snarling Gorehound and two copies of Insidious Roots, then you get something out of the graveyard. And I'll let you figure out how the chain works, but it goes infinite. It's um, It's very cool. I was I I yeah. love a good like jank draft uncommon that is seemingly terrible and will never see play. Um even though it did get banned in historic because of other reasons, but um no, I love it. I love it a lot. Yep, me too. And speaking of things that we love a lot, we love uh Michael for doing the 11 question special and we love everyone for commenting. Uh, thank you all for seeing our uh, MKM with us. Welcome to OTJ, uh, the brave new world, the frontier, if you will, the dusty, desert-ridden frontier where anything is possible, including um, Sam realizing the self mill is actually bad. Old joke. <laughs> if you'd like to be featured in our next episode, all you need to do is drop a comment on this very video about anything OTJ. Or you can share us on social media, as some of our good friends do regularly. You can email us at the address that's on screen now. You can find us on Twitter at DraftPunksMTG, everything separated by honest words, but you probably shouldn't, because we're really bad at updating it. What you can do is find me personally. I'm tweeting all the time about this stuff. Uh, my name is Sam, and I'm at calm underscore mirror. Uh, my, I'm, I'm Adrian, and I'm at Walkerade, and when I tweet, they're great. Yeah. Mm, they're pretty Adrian, good. tell me. What do they call a werewolf on YouTube? Uh, I think they call him a ho- a werewolf. Southern gentleman. It's a like and subscribe. I should really be going for more of a Texas accent rather than like a like a deep south kind of like plantation owner thing. I'll leave that with you. Can I share you with you the most insane thing that's happened? No, not the most insane. Just like some crazy things that have happened in this format to me so far. Okay, go for it. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Worst thing to happen to me, aside from getting O-Code, was my opponent played Roxanne, which is a legendary creature that when she enters or attacks, put on the, a put on, put on the red light. Uh, what? Toto. Toto joke. Toto reference. Toto song. Roxanne. No. Great, thanks for that. Um, it makes a meteorite, which deals two damage to any target and can tap for a mana, and then she does some other stuff as well. Um, with Annie Joins Up, which is an enchantment that when it enters, deals five to something, and it doubles triggers from legendary creatures. Oh, yeah. So whenever Roxanne entered or attacked, she made two meteorites that distributed two lots of two damage oh my God. around the place. Oh, my so God. Then- they played the Roxanne, cleared my board, and then because it was going to happen every turn until I could kill the Roxanne, which I didn't, anything I played with total toughness l- four or less, dead. <laughs> so Jeez. I couldn't do anything. <laughs> it was just, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was atrocious. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? Uh, um, probably the grossest thing that I've done was at Real Human Meat Draft, where I mana drained a Bonnie Paul. Oh. <laughs> and my opponent, as always with the Magic Mates crew, they played it smart. They like played out some other stuff in the turn before to like bait out the counter spell, and they got it. I countered some stuff that they did the turn before. 
I slam Bonnie Paul on the next turn and I mana drained it. <laughs> what did you do with all that mana lo- the, the following turn? So w- one of the cool things that I found is like, if you've got a deck full of cheap stuff, you can still use all that colorless mana on spree costs. Oh, yeah. Okay. Of course. So I just like, I drew a million cards, just like the ones that I had a couple of the ones that turn your opponent's thing into an O one one and you can draw two cards. So just funneled all the mana into there, filled my hand up again and still passed the turn with all my mana open. Yeah, it was, it was sick. Wow. So all right, that's, uh, that's the update from uh, week 0.5 of the format. I kinda, let's use the space to like, talk about sick things that have happened in the week. Agreed. Or maths. Or maths.